The Chairman, Board of Governors, Day Waterman College, members of the board, the senior leadership team, staff members, students, our dear parents, invited guests, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you to this online valedictory service for the class of 2020. I am Victor Kolawele. I am your comparer for this august occasion. In the midst of the uncertainties around the world, we at Day Waterman College are poised to remain undaunted in the fulfillment of our mandate towards surpassing the most demanding standards available anywhere in the world. I know you are excited to be on this platform just as I am. This platform allows us to have an international audience in real time. I want to use this opportunity to welcome our old students who are connected and then for their unflinching support for their alma mater. Without much ado about nothing, we'll begin with the processional hymn. Hello, my name is Ifola Arwajan. I'm the outgoing head boy of the Waterman College. May we all bow our heads in prayer. In Jesus' name, O Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you for the gift of waking up. O Lord, we pray that you shall take all of us to the end of this year, just as you've taken us this far in it. O Lord, we pray for security and safety for all of us. O Lord, we pray for the politicians and lawmakers. And we pray that you grant them with the wisdom to take us through this situation. O oh Lord, we pray for the doctors and frontline workers. 
We pray that you give them the grace to survive this. Oh Lord, we pray for people's businesses and the parts of people's lives that may not remain the same after this pandemic. We pray that you meet them at the point of their needs. Oh Lord, we commit this service into your hand and we pray that this service goes well. We pray for all the speakers and we pray that you allow their words empower us and give us the wisdom we need to move forward in life. Oh Lord, we pray for dear Waterman and we pray that you take the Waterman to new heights. Finally, we ask for forgiveness of our sins and we pray that you shall help us all develop spiritually. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I pledge to Nigeria, my country, to be faithful, loyal, and honest, to serve Nigeria with all my strength, to defend her unity and uphold her honor and glory. So help me God. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the 2020 Day Waterman College valedictory service. You are most welcome. Education is what remains after one has forgotten what one has learned in school. So said Albert Einstein many, many decades ago, and it's fair to say that he knew a thing or two about education. I'd like to think that Mr. Einstein was referring to the values, to the attitudes, to the attributes as well as to the thinking skills that are required for success and well-being in today's world. So what will our graduates not forget about their education at Day Waterman College? 
I hope they will remember the friendships they have made over the years and the importance of supporting each other and collaborating with each other. I hope also that whilst at Day Waterman College, they have developed the confidence to think, to create and to invent. Above all, I hope that they have become resilient, reflective and compassionate individuals. I'm sure that they have and consequently, as they leave Day Waterman College, they are well equipped to cope with the challenges of, of later life. Although I have known our graduates for only a short time, I have seen how they have shown great determination and resilience when faced with the challenges of the cancelled IGCSE examinations and how they have supported each other strongly during this difficult time. I am aware of how much they have contributed to the sport at the school, to the music, to the community outreach programme, to the drama, as well as to the academic life of the college. I have been particularly impressed with the concern that they have shown for the well-being of all members of the school community. Without a doubt, their legacy will be a most positive one. I recently watched again a favourite film of mine. It's called The Dead Poets Society. Perhaps some of you have seen it. The film tells the story of the impact of a young, charismatic, innovative English teacher on a group of students. The name of the teacher concerned is Mr Keating. Those of you who have seen the film will, I am sure, remember one of the signature lines from it. It reads, gather ye rosebuds while ye may. The line develops the theme of carpe diem or seize the day. We owe this phrase to the Roman poet Horace and today it is often, often used. I cannot think of a better context than today as the graduates of Day Waterman 2020 move on to their next challenge to use such a phrase. So, as Mr Keating says to the students that he is inspiring, so my colleagues and I say to the graduates of Day Waterman College, make your lives extraordinary. I wish you every success in the next chapter of what I am sure will be eventful and successful lives. Be assured that we shall watch your progress with interest and pride and would like you to come back to the college at some point to share with us your life story. I will leave you finally with just one final African proverb, which I hope in part reflects your time at Day Waterman College and I hope also will influence you in future years. Kindness is a language the deaf can hear and the blind can see. Take care, be ambitious, be successful, be happy and be compassionate. Thank you for listening.
Our guest speaker for this event is Ms. Dabi Olu Odubemi. Dabi Olu Odubemi finished from De Waterman College in 2014. Following DWC, she studied the International Baccalaureate at Seven Oaks School in Kent before undertaking a law degree at the University of Cambridge. In 2019, she graduated from Cambridge with a first class law degree and was awarded the Johnson Jerry Prize as well as the 1912 Honorary Scholarship. She is now a trainee solicitor at an American law firm, Clary Gottlieb Stein and Hamilton. Some of Darby's other notable accomplishments include winning third prize in the prestigious Times Law Awards and being selected as a runner for the Slaughter and May Africa Essay Prize. Darby has a blog called the Disclosing Africa Blog, DAB, and is also a writer for Get Into Law, a career advice page focused on helping aspiring lawyers. Darby Olu Odubemi. First of all, I want to say a huge congratulations to the graduating class of 2020. I know that this isn't the graduation that you wanted or expected. The world has thrown you a curveball this year, that's for sure. But I hope that in the midst of everything that you can still find a way to be proud of yourselves because this is an incredible accomplishment. Sitting here and making this speech is surreal for me because I graduated from Dewar Man in 2014, which was six years ago now, but in my mind it could be yesterday. I feel like I'm supposed to give you this wise and sage advice about life and growing up and becoming an adult, but I feel 13 most days of my life as is. But I want to take this opportunity to tell you three things that I wish I could say to my younger self. I hope you glean something from this and I really hope it helps. Here goes. Audrey Lord once said, if I didn't define myself for myself, I would be crunched into other people's fantasies for me and eaten alive. I think she quite eloquently articulates my first tip for you guys, which is think carefully about what you think of yourself because what you say about you will make or break you. I graduated from Cambridge University last year with a first class law degree and that is one of my proudest accomplishments to date. I think for me, when I tell people that, they tend to assume that that was a given. After all, I was privileged enough to go to great schools like the Waterman. I worked hard in my classes and was blessed with good grades that met the eligibility requirements for everything that I applied to. But hindsight is 2020, and no one knows what went on behind the scenes. There was a point in time where I didn't have any university offers, and my white teachers had told me that maybe university wasn't for me, or at least not in 2016. In that moment, I had to decide for myself what I said about myself. Did I agree with my teachers? Did I believe that something inside of me made me inherently ineligible for higher education? Or did I aspire for more for myself, even when the professionals were telling me not to bother? I chose the latter. I practiced and studied and worked immensely hard to pass my interview at Cambridge, and then afterwards to achieve the IB score I needed to secure the offer. But in the weeks leading up to my interview, studying wasn't the difficult part. No, the hardest part was believing in myself enough to keep going, believing that I was just as capable as any other student who got into a good university. I gave my interview my all, and after it was done, I had to wait two weeks for my results to come out. In those two weeks, I had to tell myself something else. As my mind agonized over whether or not I would get into Cambridge, I had to tell myself that whether or not I got in, I was still intelligent, I was still loved, I was still myself, and that in itself was enough. I did get in, thankfully, but by that point, I had built up, built up my self-confidence not around what others said I was, but who I and God said I was, and I was all the better for it. My second tip for you guys, you are more than just your accomplishments. Something that I grappled with when I was younger was the idea that I was only as good as the grades I got. When my results were good, I felt great. And that isn't a bad thing. You should feel proud when you do well. But when I did poorly, I felt like the whole world had collapsed on me. As I get older though, I see that report cards and transcripts are not the be all and end all. I'm not saying don't work hard, do work hard. Give everything you do in life your absolute best so that when you look back at your past, you don't have regrets because you know that you did everything you could to the best of your ability. But do not tie your worth to a number or a letter. I know that GCSE results are coming out soon and I know that many of you will be worried about what letters or numbers, I've heard the numbers now, are in those sheets. Trust me, I'm not trying to minimize your understandable anxieties or worries because I had them all too. But I want to remind you that no matter what those grades are, that you are still the same person you were before those results came out. You're still fearfully and wonderfully made. 
you are still loved by your family and your friends. You will still go on and have a future by God's grace. I pray that you all get the grace that you want. But I also pray that after opening up those results, that you don't let your self-confidence or self sense of worth be dented if maybe things don't go as you expected. My final tip, be bold, be brave, and just do it. I don't know if maybe all of you guys are super confident 16 year olds, but I definitely wasn't. I tried to put up a good front, but in a lot of ways I was very scared. Scared of challenging the status quo because I worried about what people would say or about not being good enough. I'll give you a prime example. When I was at Day Waterman, I used to sing, and that was my thing, you know? I was a soprano singer in the main school choir and the head of the church choir, but sometimes I also really wanted to dance. Um, one of my best friends was such a good dancer and yeah, I just really sometimes wanted to dance as well. But I never mustered up the courage to just join one of the extracurricular dance classes because I thought, no, these are the dancers, I'm a singer, and that's just how life is. I'm starting work this August and have now completed all of my formal education. I will never be in school again able to take uh, an extracurricular dance class. And now that it's all over, I think to myself, well, why didn't I just do it? Maybe I would have hated it and then I would never do it again, but maybe I would have loved it and had fun and been good at it and had like a really good time with my friends. I mean, truly, what's the worst that could have happened? Well, your time at Day Waterman has ended, so if you wanted to dance, but then you didn't, I'm sorry, but I guess you can't do it there anymore. But you still have years ahead of you. You have your A-levels or IB or high school or whatever it is you're doing, and you have university. So if you want to dance, dance. If you want to sing, so act, bake, debate, row, swim, play tennis, cook, anything and everything. Do it all. Don't let fear of what others say hold you back because everyone is scared just like you. People try to box other people in to feel best about themselves. Don't let your passions and dreams be suppressed by someone who's too scared to chase theirs. To conclude, I'm going to leave you with a quote by Rumi that I personally have been thinking a lot about recently. The quote is, yesterday I was clever, so I wanted to change the world. Today I am wise, so I am changing myself. When I first read that, I interpreted it to mean that Rumi was saying the world is so insurmountable that you shouldn't bother trying to change it, and instead you should just focus on yourself. But I realise that's not the case. No. The world is no match for you once you have decided what you want for yourself. By the grace of God, you have the passion, the power, and the possibility within you to change anything and everything you set your mind to. So today, my wonderful young men and women, I challenge you to be wise and look inwards. Change the negative perceptions you have of yourself. Remember that you are so capable and so gifted. Use your gifts wisely. Be impactful. Be your full and complete selves. Thank you. It's now time for the Academic and Pastoral Awards. These students have been found worthy in learning and character. The academic awardees are...
pastoral awardees are My father believed in celebrating excellence. He believed that excellence was a byproduct of sound leadership and he held that dear to his heart. The late Mr. Tayo Adirinoko believed in celebrating leaders who exhibit leadership traits such as valuing people, developing people, displaying authenticity, providing leadership and more so sharing that leadership. The students in this category have displayed the aforementioned leadership traits during the 2019-2020 academic session at the Waterman College despite the gap caused by the pandemic.
I'm glad you are still there. Thank you for staying tuned to this online event. It's time for the chairman's address, and this will be taken by the chairman, Board of Governors, Day Waterman College, Mr. Tofarati Augusto. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, when the 2019 stroke 20 session commenced last year, no one could have dreamt we would end it like this. The word unprecedented is now a familiar term we use often when we describe our lives today. Everything is unprecedented. In the interest of the safety of our school community, we have to close down the school in the wake of COVID-19 crisis in March. It's, it's three months later now, and normalcy is yet to return, and we each have had to dig deep within ourselves to learn to do things differently, innovatively. Unsurprisingly, new frontiers and experiences, such as the one we're currently faced with, are fraught with challenges. However, we have been we have seen how resilient we could be in such circumstances. On behalf of the Board of Governors, I would like to congratulate the Waterman graduates of 2020 on your graduation from our esteemed college. We are very proud of you all and on you all and what you have achieved. You should be proud of yourselves too. Look back at the last five years of your Day Waterman experience with what I hope will be fondness, remembering the good times and yes, even the bad times. Each teach invaluable lessons of life. Then look ahead to all the promises the future holds. Indeed, the virus has placed certain limitation on our way of life, but only for a time. Know this, challenges are meant to be overcome. Accept them and keep moving forward, knowing that each step is one of growth. As you step forward in your lives and travel to new schools and new challenges, I wish you every success. I am confident that the lessons you have learned at Day Waterman will stand you in good stead. You are joining a growing number of proud Day Waterman alumni who the board believes will become a force for good in Nigeria and in the world. Stay safe and God bless you. The Chairman, Board of Governors, Day Waterman College, the members of the board, the Board of Governors, the senior leadership team, curriculum leaders, year heads, staff, students, distinguished parents, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. The occasion for which we are gathered is to celebrate the class of 2020. These 74 students are daring, assiduous, passionate, and resilient go-getters who believe in 100% or nothing. The founder of Day Waterman College, late Mr. Taya Adenryoku, believes that every graduate must be capable of surpassing the most demanding standards available anywhere in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, Oni Afolabi Ajibola is my name, head of year 11, and I present to you the class of 2020. Just a paradise. Rise up to the light in the sky. Watch the light lift up. 
welcome you once again to this occasion this award is a DWC scholars you would agree with me that every graduate deserves to be right here as they've all distinguished themselves in one area or the other during their stay at Day Waterman College however we have narrowed down to four who are absolutely outstanding in terms of academic performance all through their stay at Day Waterman College. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the DWC Scholars for the class of 2020.
haven't viewed the DWC scholars, you would agree with me that those achievements were no mean feats. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, you can actually guess who the valedictorian for the class of 2020 is. Please welcome the valedictorian for the class of 2020. The chairman of the board, Mr. Tufarati Okusu, members of the board, the board of governors, the principal, Mr. Gowen, the senior leadership team members, curriculum leaders, year heads, teaching staff, non-teaching staff, family, friends, fellow graduates and students of Day Waterman College. A great man once said, don't wait, make memories today, celebrate your life. Despite the uncertain times we are in, it is a rare privilege for the daring go-getter, the class of 2020, to be celebrated today. Day Waterman College has produced an ingenious brand of intelligent, versatile and audacious thinkers. DWC has set the indelible mark to greatness. The DWC has imparted our young minds. We have really learned more than can be imagined. From basic algebra to calculus in math class, to learning how to make complicated sentences in our French or Spanish classes. How could any of the sons four of us here ever forget the P E E E E L paragraphs enforced by the English departments? Indeed, so much was learned in the classroom. But could anyone underrate the impact of the bits and knowledge assembled from every nook and cranny of DWC? We all came in with minimal knowledge of musical instruments, swimming, drama, arts and design. Yet, the sense four of us have participated in at least one school production. We have also learned the spirit of sportsmanship on the pitch, the course, or even become a star at sports we had never done before. Yet, the learning didn't stop there. We learned an array of life lessons as well, standing up for what we believe in, team spirit, helping others, learning how to get out of trouble, and the list goes on. However, of all these, I believe the most important thing we have learned in here is the only person you are destined to become is the person you decide to be. Within our first two years, we were already the so-called most adventurous sets. I remember writing lives for the head of boarding girls by the whole year group or the infamous suspension in year eight. Yet, we have established ourselves as the daring go-getters in the school. In fact, the very first violation form issued was to a member of our year group. However, we have matured in year 10 and year 11 and were tipped to achieve the best ICC results in the school's history. We also became the very first year group in Day Waterman College history to participate in the Duke of Edinburgh's Silver Program. Moreover, we are the first in history of DWC to have an e-valedictory service. We have transformed from an ugly caterpillar to a beautiful butterfly. About three years ago, nobody would have believed that we would have received such commendation. Yet, we were able to get to the Zenith because we are not a set of people who quit as winners never quit and quitters never win. We're inspired by the sayings of Albert Einstein. Life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. We continue to push and strive to prove that we are a force to reckon with. Fellow graduates, one thing is certain, we can reach a top notch if we do not lose our grips on our, on our marker. With integrity, hard work and determination, surely we will get there. Remember, according to Colin Powell, a dream doesn't become a reality through magic. It takes sweat, determination, and hard work. To the entire DWC staff, what could we have done without your love, compassion, and dedication that has carried us thus far? You have nurtured us into both body and mind, ensuring a safe and conducive atmosphere for us to be where we are today. We can not completely express our profound gratitude. May God bless you beyond your imagination. Thanks for all your care and support. My dear mom and dad, Mr. and Mrs. Tunde Davis, I cannot be more fortunate to have you as parents. You have always been there to support and pat my back through thick and thin. I appreciate you greatly. My cousin at DWC and other members of my family for supporting me during my highest highs and my lowest lows throughout this wonderful journey. Thank you. 
Most importantly, according to Roy T. Bennett, it doesn't matter how many people you meet in your life. You just need the real ones who accept you for who you are and help you become who you should be. I thank members of the class of 2020 for pushing me through tough times, bringing me out of my comfort zone, providing such a thrilling, competitive environment to be in, as well as a fun and vibrant place to be. It has truly been a roller coaster five years in Day Waterman College and I look forward to the bright future ahead of us. DWC Class of 2020, the daring go-getters. It has been a splendid five years. Congratulations. Thank you all. Good day, the Chair Board of Day Waterman College, members of the Board of Governors, the Senior Leadership Team, Curriculum Leaders, Year Heads, Staff, Distinguished Parents, Ladies and Gentlemen, and finally, esteemed members of the class of 2020. It is with immense pleasure for me to be giving the vote of thanks for the class of 2019-2020 session valedictory survey. From the teachers in the classroom to the staff in the boarding house, everybody in the Waterman has played an impactful role in our secondary school experience and for that, on behalf of the class of 2020, we would just like to say thank you. From the kitchen staff to the gardeners to the protons, the cleaners, everybody has made an impactful role on us. Thank you to the principals, both past and present, for helping shape this school and ensuring that everything goes smoothly. To the SLT for always making sure that we have a team, a body to see and make sure that our problems could be heard. Each and every staff member from math, English, science, every subject, just thank you for helping us be the best that we could be to the house parents, our matrons, the medical staff, just thank you for giving us a good boarding life. And on behalf of the SRC Council, I would just like to say thank you to every teacher that put in their time and support into our meetings. All the meetings went well from electing, bringing our problems and solutions. And I hope that next session, it will be even better with an even better president after me. And thank you to the past presidents before me for helping pave the way and setting the tone for me. And I hope that next session, this school will become even better, better prefects, better standard and just. So once again, on behalf of the class of 2020, we would like to tell the Waterman College a big thank you. Please get into a comfortable position for prayer. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of the Almighty Allah, the most beneficent and the most merciful. Oh Allah, thank you for bringing us to the end of this program. Thank you for the lives of the parents, staff, and students of DWC as you lead us through this pandemic. Thank you for the lives of the outgoing set as we leave DWC to not only further our education, but our lives as a whole. I pray for the protection upon the class of 2020 in all that we do, uh, as well as success upon anything that we set out to do. I pray for all of this in the name of the first surah, which is the most powerful in the Quran, Al Fatiha. For those who can recite, recite with me, Al Fatiha, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alhamdulillah Rabbi Alamim. Arman Rahim, Maliki Al Magdin, Yakana Buduwa Yakana Stein, Eden Osrato Mustakim, Sorato Lazin Aliam Talehim, Derim of Dubele, Molak Dole, Amen. Thank you. A special shout out to the graduating class of 2020 from DWC. The Adebites wish you successful years ahead. May all your dreams come true. And we congratulate you too, Ademiku. Congratulations to our dear brother Atoba and the class of 2020. I wish you all abundant success in the future. Hi, Maximilian Pakaram. Congratulations from graduating DWC 2020. We're so proud of you. Lots of love from your two sisters. Jadisola Adela Conspirants would like to congratulate the class of 2020. 
We wish them all the very best in the future. And may the Almighty God keep each and every one of them. Amen. Amen. Hello, this is Simach. I want to say a big congratulations to David Chidi Emmanuel on his graduation. Congratulations! And God bless you. I wish you God's best, God's grace, and increase, and increase in ability as you move forward. God bless you. Congratulations, Ethan. I'm so proud of you. Tuku 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 Don, so well done. Absolutely brilliant. I'm so excited for you for what comes next. I hope you're excited too. Good luck, Ethan. We, we love, love you. you. Display the spirit of excellence and trench to you. Hearty congratulations to the class of 2020. Congratulations, Ifani. I knew you would make it. Now, you've got it all. Looks, rain, and certification from an ironic school. You're set for life. Love you always. At the Sandra. So, Mustafa. Representing Open East Senatorial District in the Ninth Senate. This is to congratulate the entire Day Waterman family on the occasion of the Valuability Service for the, for the class of 2020. To the 2020 class, a bold and solid platform has been provided for you by your parents. Go out there and take on the world. Be bold. Well done, guys. Well done, big boy, big family. Being the son of my darling sister. Hi, this is Chief I'm one of Fine's brothers. Uh, I want to congratulate you for completing secondary school, um, passing through the Waterman College. Uh, uh, so say I'm proud of you and good luck in the future. Just give you a little shout out. To our lovely daughter, Fadi Kemi, Adinola, aka Fadix, on the occasion of your graduation from the Waterman College. We thank God for your life and we wish you all the very best as you transition into your new phase of life. We are so proud, proud of you. you. Well done, Fabix. Have a kind of new year. It's your cousin said that on a family journey. I just want to congratulate you for graduating from Day Waterman College. God bless you and hope to see you soon. Hooray! Congratulations to the Day Waterman College class of 2020. And Osadeva Giva Osage. Congratulations to the class of 2020 and I guess we're gonna talk about the Go out there and read your world on the back of strong character and knowledge. Cheers. Hey guys, congratulations on your graduation. I want you to know that the sky is not the limit and we should all the best. Hey, I know you get it. Super proud for your outstanding achievements. Your hard work and determination has paid off. Best of luck for your future. Happy graduation, Anna. Congratulations! Congratulations! Energy, we are so proud of you. Congratulations, my darling. You have thought, you have believed, you have dreamt, and you get to come back. Congratulations. We love you. And we pray that this is just the beginning. Congratulations to the entire Day Waterman family and the daring goal getters, our class of 2020. As you all move on to new and exciting chapters of your life, we wish you the best for the future that lies ahead of you all. Congratulations! Congratulations! Um, hello, my name's Inuela, Fikami's favourite cousin. I just wanted to say congrats on finishing year 11 and finishing with the best grades. Well done. Congratulations, the Waterman class of 2020. You are victorious. To our darling Moyo Sonny, we are very proud of you and your hard work will surely be rewarded. Well done, darling. God bless you. Congratulations, Brad, on your graduation. You made mom and dad so proud. We love you. May God grant you excellence in your future academic pursuit. Congratulations. Congratulations, Sabasiano, on your graduation from the Waterman College. Um, it's been tough, but you've done well, and we wish you well. Um, more grace, more grace as you proceed in Jesus' name. Amen. Hi, my name is Akintori Akintori. This is a message for from the class of 2020 to say many congratulations on your graduation. Very proud of you. And I 
show your mom and dad off to. Take care and enjoy. Bye bye. Oh, my superstar Ifani, congrats on attaining this milestone. May you continue to model for the world how a mix of intelligence, good character, skill, and most importantly, the fear of God makes you a better place. The world certainly can't do without your time. Congratulations to this moment. Congratulations, Abbasiano, on your graduation. Abbasiano, congratulations on your graduation from the Waterman College. We're so proud of you. We're grateful to God. Go forth and excel. Bless you. Well done. Hey, congratulations to the class of 2020 of the Day Watermark College. On behalf of your parents, the school, the teachers, and all the well wishes, we say a big congratulations because you have done it. You have made the class. You have made it. You see, everyone is waiting for you to be the change that the world needs. You're going to make the difference that this world is waiting for. Go out there and break barriers, break new grounds, and become the change that the world needs. On behalf of everyone, we wish you well, and we'll see you at the top. Don't forget, you are the one that we've been waiting for. Congratulations again, the class of 2020 of the Day Waterman College. Wow, congratulations, Moyo Oyetunde. I am very, 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 very proud of you. Wow, I can't believe you're finally done. <laughs> it was like yesterday when you were just coming into Day Water Van and you know, me and Boomi and the rest of us had to take good care of you. But now five years has gone and I am so, so proud of you, you know. I can, I am a testimony of us as to how it was difficult passing through that whole Day Water Man process. It's not easy, but you persevered, you pushed through, you know, you focused on what was most important and we are so, so, so happy. And, you know, going through the next part of your life now, we just need to stay focused, you know, keep being yourself, focus on your values, always remember and focus on God. And I assure you, you'll be set for life. So I wish you the very, very, very best. Have a fantastic day. Congratulations again. And we love you. Bye. A wonderful graduation shout out to my beautiful daughter, Sasha Imane Yuri. So very proud of you, darling. May God continue to guide you and keep you. Bless your steps as you move forward on your new journey into the entire graduating 2020 class of Day Waterman College. Well done. God bless. Hello, my name is Ola. I'm the Cowboys cousin. And I just wanted to say congratulations on finishing year 11. Woo! It's Kelly Nelson. I'm the APC Ronald Nogida of the South West Zone. And a mother. This is a shout out to all the graduating students of Day Waterman year 2020, especially to my son, Adeni Femi Adenika. You will be great. You will excel. All of you are going into the, it's another world. God will go with you. Shall be well with all of you. You are greater tomorrow, you are at home. And I pray that you'll be better than us, you'll be bigger than us, you'll be wealthier than us, and you will do exploits. Congratulations, all of you. This is a shout out for Kachi Ajero. Kachi, congratulations on your graduation. It's a special time for the world and it's no surprise that you're graduating in this special year. Kachi, you are special to our family on many counts. You were the biggest baby and incidentally the tallest in the house. So as you graduate this year, I charge you son to go out there and impact your world. Go out there and be an ambassador for Day Water Men College. Go out there and live your dreams. Go out there and represent your family. You have a good legacy, you have a good heritage, and Day Waterman has put everything in you to reach out to your highest potentials. So on behalf of your daddy and your brothers, I'm here saying congratulations, Kachi. You are the light of the world. Go out there and shine your light. Go out there and give the world what you have. Go out there and be an ambassador and go to any part of the world that you wish to go and show the world what you are made of. Congratulations, son. The Lord will be with you. The 
Lord will bless you and guide you in all your ways. Have a wonderful year. Congratulations, special one. Congratulations, Kachi. I am phoning you. I'm recording this uh, video on behalf of Goinsola Davis, the son of my good friend's daughter, Dr. Ishola Abudu, whose daughter is uh, Bioye Abudu. This is Davis. I say congratulations to the entire Day Waterman family on the occasion of the valedictory service for the class of 2020 to which Coinsola Abudu Davis belongs to the class of 2020 as you move on to new and exciting chapters in your lives I wish you all the best for the future that lies ahead. Best wishes. This is from Oba Adedapo Adewale Tejosho Oromiyo Karungu III Oshile Kyonida. God bless you all. Thank you. Congratulations on your graduation. How that you have finished the ultimate and moving on to the next phase of life, just know that everything will become very difficult and very stressful. But I know that you're pretty Happy graduation, Nifemi. We're so proud of you. Yay! Yeah. We celebrate you. We are proud of your graduation, Nifemi. Congratulations and graduating. We love you. Congratulations class of 2020. We thank God for everything. You came, you saw, and you conquered. Go and rule your world. God bless and keep you. Amen. Congratulations on your graduation, Bono. Although may not have been reason you that you were planning for, I wish you nothing but success as you go into your future academically and um... Congratulations, DWC class of 2020. Uh, this is Zozia Machibo's dad. This is dad. I know you guys would love to be having this under better circumstances, but nevertheless, I wish you guys all the best. We're very proud of you. God bless. Bye. Happy Brian! 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 And I am so proud of you for achieving this big milestone in your life. Yes, the situation we're in right now wouldn't allow us to celebrate with you physically. But just know that me and the rest of the family, we are proud of you. We are so proud of the young man you've become. And I pray for you from the bottom of my heart on this day that God will give you the strength, the ability to carry on i pray that god will give you wisdom that surpasses all understanding and i pray that anything you set your heart and your mind to do you'll come out victorious in the name of jesus amen hopefully we'll see each other soon and once again i just want to say congratulations and i am so proud of you I say congratulations to the amazing class of 2020 as you graduate, and especially to our son, the fellow to our new We're really proud of you, we're really proud of yourself, and we um, wish you all many successes as you join into your next career pursuits.
Brian. Brian. Congratulations, Congratulations on your graduation. graduation. And thank you for making us proud. God bless you. Don't forget you're the pay setter for your siblings. God bless you. Love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Congratulations, Brian. Brian. Congratulations, Happy graduation. Brian. Oh, yes, Hello, you. Brian. Congratulations. Thank God you. bless you. Brian, congrats on your grad. Enjoy your day. Yeah. At home. Enjoy your achievements. Celebrate your achievements. And good luck in your future endeavors. Amen. Bye bye. 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 Hello everybody, my name is Idris Abdukarim, Olympic touch bearer, musician, Obasanjo's best friend and I'm here to wish Brian Azale a big congratulations representing the Waterman College of Equita, uh, graduating class of 2020. May God bless you, wishing you all the best. God bless, peace. Hey Kyle Day, it's your cousin Josh from Virginia out here. Just wanted to say congratulations on graduating high school. I'm proud of you. I wish you the best at A-levels and whatever you have coming up in the future. I pray the Lord continues to bless you and anything you're setting your hands to and whatever you choose to do going forward. And I know we're going to see great things from you. Hope to see you guys soon. Love you. Congratulations again. Hey, Kyle Day. I just wanted to say congratulations on graduation all the way from your big cousin over in the United States. Very proud of you. Continue to do great things. Keep your eyes on Jesus and the sky's the limit. I'm proud of you. Well done. Congratulations again. Congratulations, class of 2020, on your graduation. Uh, whilst the present may not be all we would hope it would be, uh, your future is bright and coming soon. Be ready to live it. Hello, Aisha. We were looking forward to attending your graduation, but unfortunately, this year it is different. But all the same, we would like to congratulate you and wish you success in your future journey. You have made us so, so proud. Love you. I'm joy that I congratulate the graduating set of Day Waterman 2020. And this is my courtesy of my grandson. Bikayomi, <laughs> this is a shout out from mommy and daddy. Congratulations on your graduation from the Waterman College and wish you all the best in your future endeavors. God bless. Congratulations, class of 2020. Yours has been a unique class and I believe it's like that for a purpose. The Bible says concerning you that He creates all things for His purpose. So everything that happened during your sex actually happened for a purpose. Another thing is that the Bible says concerning you that you are peculiar people. So I charge you to go to the world and affect it in peculiar ways. I have no doubt that you are in doubt and you have been nurtured to create a difference in the world. So you just go there and create that difference. God is with you. Congratulations to the class of 2020. We are proud of you. We are happy that you are living in peace. Despite all the pandemic uh, situation in globally, we know God has a purpose for you and God has prepared you for a greater future. We I wish you a resounding success, greater heights in all your levels. Always be good ambassadors of this great school. Make your parents proud wherever you are. It is a pity and I'm very sad that I'm not going to see any of you again. But I wish you the best of luck. And I know anytime, any day, we shall meet in peace, anywhere, any day. And I know you guys are going to make us proud wherever you are. Congratulations, kudos. Hello DWC class of 2020. Want to wish you success, health and happiness. Good luck everyone. Hello everyone. Um, my message is always be honest and always be the hardest worker in the room. Hey Bulu, congrats on your graduation. 
Uh, we that graduates that know how hard it is you've worked to get here and we're so proud of you we can't wait to see what you're doing in the future. We love you so much and we care and congrats again for losing. Hi, I just wanted to give a shout out to DWC class of 2020. I wish you all the best of luck and congratulations. Greetings, lovely people. My name is Bucci, and here is to you, Hazel Chukujindu, and the Day Waterman College class of 2020. I wish you the very best in your endeavors going forward. God bless you, Richie. Congratulations, Day Waterman class 2020. Um, especially Feolua, the head boy, you have fought the good fight and the crown of outstanding grades await you. Go into the world and show the stuff you are made of. Keep on shining. Congratulations. Hi Fanny, we're happy you're graduating. Congratulations, we're so proud of you. Congratulations, Fanny, we, we love, love you. you. Congratulations. I grant some brand on your graduation day. May the good Lord bless and keep you in all your endeavors. Love you. Congratulations, Brian. So proud of you that you have made it through high school. The part of an island, I can remember when you first set sail for the Ottoman College, but now you have victoriously come to the end of this journey. And I pray that God who has brought you thus far will lead you victoriously through the next phases of your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Congrats again. Congrats, Brian. You made it. Now high school is over. And a new phase begins. You know what that means. It's time to celebrate. Wishing you God's blessings for the journey ahead. And I pray that you'll always be outstanding wherever you find yourself. We love you. Congratulations, Brian, on your graduation from the Waterman College. Congratulations, Adi Tomiwa, Adi Feko, and the class of 2020. This is a year of the smartly stereotypes and traditions, and you are the ones we'll be waiting for to lead us into innovation and progression, a future of inclusion and diversity. So class of 2020, the world is waiting for you. Congrats. Uh, hey, Brian, congratulations, man. Um, I want to congratulate you on this day. I know how you're feeling right now. It's not that easy to, to do something like this. So, Congratulations, I'm proud of you, all proud of you, thanks. Hey Brian, we just want to say congratulations on your great feat. We're all very proud of you, we hope for many more to come, well done. Hey Brian, congratulations on your graduation bro, back more wins man, stay blessed. Hello Brian, just want to let you know that your godfather couldn't have been more proud of you. We all are very proud of you. Continue to so high. God bless you. We love you so much. 